live from Servant's Pit, we have the Knights taking on the Vipers in this sold out stadium. With our two key matchups today coming both from the offensive sides of the ball with D Rock on offense for the Vipers and Bob at receiver for the Knights. This looks to be a, a high scoring game with uh, the two best offenses so far in the Development League and both defenses um, will look to be tested in this one. As we'll go ahead and head to the field for the coin toss. With heads being in the call, the Vipers elect the kick. We don't see many touchbacks here from the Vipers on kickoff, so this looks to be a return. He'll get about 22 on that one. Probably should have just let that one bounce out the end zone. We see a reset for quarterback for the first time after switching. And he connects with Bob early for a gain of 16 yards. Handoff up the middle for Marshall Payne, but that doesn't seem to go anywhere as that is a one yard loss. We see Avery uh, back at shotgun, drops back to pass, and incomplete. Just can't connect with his receiver on that one. A little bit of an overthrow. Third and 11. And we have a first down after a gain of 13 yards. And we get a one yard loss on the play as those runs up the middle just have not seemed to work out so far in this drive. As Maryland has been off to a good start so far. But he tosses it to Brand on the outside. It's a big gain for 37 yards. With a, uh, a first down, Maryland puts him in first and goal. Wow, connects to that one for a three yard completion. Make it. Second goal from their own from their three yard line. And that is deflected on the play by D Rock. That'll be third and goal from the three. Will they be able to punch this one in here or they have to settle for three? Wow, we have an interception on the play. Francis off, Francis running, and he is tackled from behind by Pop. Avery with sent with the pick. They were making a great drive on the start of the game here on offense, but it ends off with a pick and it ends off with a great return. And France here, he was a game with a 17 yard catch. He's doing things on both sides of the ball. He's having himself a, a good start to this game. Go drive back to pass again. And he's going to throw it deep to Big Harney on that one for a game of 33 yards. Incredible play. Tosses it out to D Rock for no gain on the play. And he connects with Matt Woodson in the end zone as the fireworks go off for the Vipers. As the new addition that they have uh, been added into the stadium over the week for 
they had put in uh, a place for fireworks to go off after touchdowns. That's a cool ad here for Singapore. Because that's something that many other stadiums have in the league. We get about a 19 yard return on this one. We see shotgun uh, to start off this drive if they look to pass. And he connects with his tight end on this one. Which they have to bring out the chains, but it will come up short as it will be second and inches from the 34 yard line. They're going to toss it out wide to Brand, who will get about four on the, on the run. So far, those outside runs have been uh, working out pretty pretty well for them on this these past few drives. But it will work, you know, on the stock for the Vipers as they punt it out to D Rock, who will get about 16 on the time. Goat drives back to pass, and he connects with Matt Woodson for a big gain of 34 yards. Nothing seems to be slowing down the Vipers' offense so far. Pitch to the outside to D Rap, gain of 4 yards. They'll give him 6 with further progress. D Rock on the outside for a gain of two. We'll bring up third and three. Go draws back to pass. And they will go now 0 and 2 on third downs for the day as this will bring up a fourth and three. not kick the full goal for this one as they will go for it and they pitch it to the D-Rock on the outside who has a big game and the first down. They'll give him 19 on that and that'll bring up a first and goal Vipers on the five yard line here. Will they be able to punch this in and go up 14 or zero? Now we have a deflection uh, on this one by Richard. Bring up second down. Drive back to pass. And he connects with the right for a gain of three yards. This will bring up third and goal from the two yard line. Will they be able to punch this one in? Ooh, tries to tie it up to the back of the end zone to Big Harney, but it's not connect. Fourth down. Now they will not bring out the field goal unit. Wow. And he tries to dot one up to Danny D Rock on this one, but it just doesn't work out. We'll see a turnover on downs. It's a nice takeover from the two yard line. And they get a, a big gain here as uh, there was a safety watch getting ready to happen as they gained 48 yards on the reception. Goes deep. And deflected by Big Harney. Doesn't let him connect uh, to his receiver on that one. It brings up a second down. Drop back to pass. And he connects with his tight end on that one for a nice 14 yard catch.
and he evades the sack. Oh, and they catch him from behind and still get him for a one yard loss. And they turn the runner up the middle, and they get the actual positive yards on this one for a gain of six. This will bring up third and four. As they look to try to get some points on the board here before uh, half. Since the Vipers get the ball back. And it's important that they get some kind of points here. First and ten. They drop back to pass. And he connects with Richard for a three yard completion. Only two seconds left to go. And they pitch it out wide to Brand. And Brand will run that in for a 20 yard run. Those outside runs have just been incredible so far for him today as he has five rushes, 61 yards, and a touchdown. And they will look to tie it up with the extra point. And they will do so. It is now 7 7 with 12 seconds remaining in the half. And this kick will go into the end zone. Well, they look to just run the clock out and take this thing into the into the locker room. Rock with a big game that went out the, the quarter of 21 yards. So, five your impact players are Marshawn Brent with five rushes, 61 yards, and a touchdown, and God Go, who is five of nine, 100 yards, and a touchdown. With your score of seven to seven. All tied up here in this one, in front of a sold out crowd in Singapore. Going into the game, we expected this to be a very, uh, very high scoring matchup, but so far it has been the opposite. Both teams is moving the ball, but they, they can't seem to really get to in the end so much. With it only being 7 7. And we'll start this one off. And it'll be a touchback to start third quarter. Viper's offense comes out where they look to continue this um, high motor offense into the second half as they'll gain a six on the first play. It'll be second and four. Screenplay to the outside for France. And then gain one yard is going to bring up third and three. He'll hand it off to D Rock. He'll gain enough for the first down on this one. Had to bring out the chains. Goat drops back to pass. And he connects with Big Harney for an 8 yard completed pass. Goat drops back to pass again. He moves around in the pocket and he connects with his receiver Curtis. That was great pocket awareness, great route running. And way to come back to the ball to make the catch. They toss it to D Rock on the outside. He gets a big gain on the play of 19 yards. He is dying. Uh, shoots for 81 yards so far on the day as he looks up to his former self. And he'll connect in the back of the end zone with France. And just love hearing those fireworks. 
as it looks to make this 14 to 7 with the extra point. And it was good. Kick this one, and they will get a return of about 19 yards on this one. The kick team coverage has been um, excellent so far today. That's another toss to the outside for Marshawn Brand. That turns into another incredible run of 28 yards. These six attempts for about 89 yards in the touch shot so far today. He drives back to pass, and he connects with Bob, who looks to be gone here for a big gain of 47 yards and ends off in a touchdown. That man is showing why he is one of the best, if not the best, offensive weapon in the league so far. And it's all tied up again here. It's 14 to 14. It seems like whenever one team scores, the other team has to score as well. As neither team can seem to, to break free. They pitch it to D Rock on the outside for a big gain here of 30 yards, but they'll mark it with a gain of 33 after his forward progress. There's another excellent run by D Rock. Go drops back to pass. And he tries to evade the sack, but it doesn't work as CJ brings him down. He's up second and 13. They ran the screenplay to France for a gain of seven yards. Wow, that one worked out a lot better than the first time. Drop back to pass and then spin the frames on the upper side, and that one works out really well as well for a first down in a game of six yards. They pitch to D Rock on the outside, and that goes nowhere as Big Dog comes up for a one yard loss. They handed it upside to Andrew Payne, and he gets a gain of 10 yards as he's been showing off that power. It comes up short on the first down as it'll be third and one. And they hand it off to D Rock up the middle who gains four yards in the first down. That's what we like to see right there for, uh, from, from the Vipers fans. As they erupt heading into this fourth quarter. Everyone hands with the fours in the air. And a six yard completion on that one. Break up second and fourth. And it's all tied up 14 14. Will the Knights be able to pull off with upset here on the road? As they hand off the D Rock up the middle with a big gain of seven yards, as it is a first and goal Vipers. <laughs> Go drives back to pass. And he finds. Dean France in the end zone for his second touchdown of the day. Boy, is he having a game. He's had an interception. He's had two touchdowns. What can't that man do as he plays both sides of the ball? And we'll make that 21 to 14 with 4 minutes and 14 seconds left to go in the fourth. The Knights need to try to make something happen here on offense. With another good kick return team, as they only allow 16 yards on the on the return. Uh, 
a deflection right there on the play for D Rock as he has two of them now. The Knights are looking for for something here. As they get five on the run, give them six uh, by brand. Viper's sideline is going insane right now. They're full of momentum as they're, um, wow, an incredible play call by the Knights head coach. With a 14 yards, uh, they give them 16 on the QB run. I don't think anybody in the entire stadium saw that one coming, and that one worked out great. Incredible play call. Once they hand it to the outside of Marshawn Brand, who continues to kill it on those outside runs. As he is now over 100 yards in his debut. Avery drops back to pass, and he connects with five for five yards. With a really good spot as they were in that big second and fourth. Actually, his fullback there on the outside, but it does seem to go anywhere as that comes up for a one yard loss. Avery drops back to pass. He likes with this tight end to break up a fourth and inches. This is a big fourth down here as it's in the fourth quarter with time ticking away and they're down by seven. The pressure comes, and there's a sack by Bob McBite on fourth and inches, comes up with a nine-yard loss. As the Vipers will look to have their put-away drive here to just seal this thing late in the fourth. As they hand it off to D-Rock for an incredible run on the outside of a gain of 36 yards, as he is now 14 for 160, still has yet to get into to the end zone. The Vipers are full of momentum here, and they have the stadium on their side with another big run to D-Rock on the outside for 21 yards as the Knights have now used the timeout. Another run to the outside for D-Rock as he gets in the end zone for this one. That one just might have sealed it as it is now 16 for 194 and a touchdown. And the kick is up, and it is good. That'll be 28 to 14. So Vipers kick this one off. We'll see a return of about 17. Wow, he connects with Bob on the sideline for a big gain of 31 yards, and Maryland calls timeout. He is now over 100 yards receiving on the day, as they need this as they are now under a minute left to play. He throws one deep, and, and he catches it, but it is knocked out on the hit by Big Honey. His second deflection for the day. Incomplete. Big third down here for the Knights. 22 seconds left down by two scores. As they need to get something happening quick. Drops back to pass. And deflection by Dean France. As he has continued to dominate this game. Wow, a big completion to Richard on the sideline for a gain of 30 yards as the Knights have used their last timeout. 
with two seconds left remaining. Will they be able to put something up on the clock or on the score to make this a little bit closer game? And they find Bob in the back of the end zone for six receptions, 121 yards, and two touchdowns now on the day with a score to the end of the game. As they go for two, and it doesn't work as Matt Woodson comes up with the stop. As the Vipers uh, take this one and move on to three and one in the season as the Knights move to two and two on the year. This was a really, really good game by the Vipers offense as they uh, couldn't seem to be stopped. Um, and the Knights, the Knights looked to move the ball, but as they got closer into, into the red zone, doesn't look like they knew how to, to, to put it into the end zone. And D-Rock is your player of the game with 16 rushes, 194 yards, and one touchdown, two receptions, and nine yards. An incredible game by him, as he has just been tearing it up for the Vipers this season. With your final score, 28 Vipers, 20 Knights. With the Vipers winning this one 28 to 20. With your player of the game, D Rock. With 16 rushes, 194 yards, and one touchdown. And we will now head to game two with the Monarchs visiting the Stags from the Lone Star Stampede in Houston, Texas. And this one we have Alan Powers. Uh, going up against Noah Campbell. Um, Noah Campbell looks to lead the Monarchs to uh, win in this one. Um, and Alan Powers looks to, to step up his performance after he's had a disappointing year so far. Uh, coming in, being a highly talented uh, recruit. And then slowly just dropping down in the rankings. Um, but he looks to get back on track in this one today. Um, Anton, uh, Anton uh, Guntram has now been sent down to a dead league as he gets to make his uh, debut tonight. And uh, we'll see what he gets to do. As we'll head down to the field um, for the coin toss. As this one's, uh, this one's uh, it's a loud one down here with a sold out crowd. So it looks to be tails and... Houston has elected to kick. That means we'll get to see uh, Noah Campbell uh, on, uh, in his offense um, on the field first. Head on a formation and he hands it up, up the middle to Stone Prince. For a big gain of six, first play of the game, and it'll come up for a second and four. Noah okay, Campbell drops back, and he throws a laser down the field, but it is deflected by Desmond. the middle for a stone prince and no one will anywhere on this one. Looks to be fourth down and an early an early three and out for the offense. We bump this one away. Wow and this is just incredible. What a pin for Mr. Chase. 
64 yard punt. We get to see Condo Man out here on offense. As he connects to his receiver on that one for a four yard completion. He lines up under center on this one. Drops back to pass. And he throws a bomb down the field, but it looks to be deflected by Monarch's defense. Got third and six. We got a screen pass to the outside. And it comes up with a gain of four, but not enough for the first down. We see another punt for the, uh, uh, the Stags here. Their first drive as they get it right back to the Monarchs. Another pretty good yard punt, but we get a return here of 17 yards. Noah Campbell tosses it to the outside to Alex Starr. He makes a pretty good run for a game of 21 yards for his first carry of the day. Campbell drops back and we have a fumble! And turnover on downs. Plays like that is what we like to see out of this Houston defense uh, if they want to be able to win a game like this. Ooh, Condor Man evades the, um, the pressure and takes off for a game of 14. Condor Man looking to make plays with his feet. He drops back to pass. And he evades the pressure again, but... It looks like, like they still get him for a one yard loss on this on a sack. Brings up second and eleven from the forty three yard line. Um, looks like Condo Man's back there, but on shotgun on his own, and he finds Mbappe on the outside, who takes it in for a forty three yard touchdown. <laughs> An excellent, excellent play call. A great find by Condo Man and throw and then way to run that in for uh, for a 43 yard touchdown by McFly. Uh, the great drive by Houston and way to capitalize on the on the, the turnover. And um, Anton kicks this one out of the end zone for a touchback. Got the eye formation for the Monarchs. Campbell drops back. He throws it deep to McBot for a 31 yard catch. Wow. They throw it deep on the first play, uh, coming out after the fumble. Way to show it, they uh, still have trust in their quarterback. Nice uh, 13 yard catch uh, to the, uh, the halfback, Alex Starr. Drops back. They really like passing out of this high formation. The pass is dropped by McBot. Eighteen seconds remaining in the quarter, second and ten. Ooh, Noah Campbell evades uh, uh, the pressure and comes up for a a big run that just falls short of the first down marker. This will bring up third and one. They hand it off up the middle to Alex Starr for his eight yard run. For 29 yards now on the day. With a pitch to the outside, Alex Starr for two yards. Brings up second and eight. Attack on the play by Allen, Allen Powers. His first one. 
We see a screen pass to the outside to McFly, and he celebrates early as he goes in for a 13 yard uh, reception. Wow, that was an incredible screen play to the outside that worked really well. As they look to tie things up. And they do. 7-7. Seven, seven. That was a really good bounce back drive after a fumble uh, by Noah Campbell. Um, the, the drive before that. It's a way to, way to shake that off and continue moving to the next, the next play. See Condo Man back out as he pitches it to the outside. Tank takes off for a big gain of 29 yards, but they give him uh, an extra yard on the spot. I think that was a little generous. Run to the outside. Doesn't really go anywhere, but he gets about a yard on that one. Condom man drops back to pass. And he throws it to the outside to his running back tank for a two yard completion. Brings up third and seven. Condom man drops back to pass. He's got pressure all over him and he throws an interception. I believe that was Joshua Legend on the play. Way to, way to get that turnover back from earlier. And we have a sack. Ryan McFont with the 10 yard loss here as he is able to get to the quarterback. Noah Campbell was not able to get away from that one. As it makes a second and 20. And he finds a wide open McFont in the middle of the field for a, a huge gain of 43 yards. Way to make up for the this is sack on the first down. Ready to break. Ready to break. Yeah. Back pass. Noah Campbell evades the sack and picks up three yards. Wow. Both teams is uh, creating a ton of pressure, but it's hard to be able to get to either quarterback. As they toss it to the outside to Alex Starr, who makes a great run for the first down, breaks one tackle, and he is in there. Oh, Markham just short of the goal line. Ready to break. They'll be able to run this one in. They toss it to the outside, and Alex Starr is in there for his first touchdown of the day. And with the extra point good, that'll make up 14 to 7. The Stags take this return out for about 21 yards. Condom man evades his sack and picks up a few on the run. Brings up a second and nine. With a minute left remaining before the half. Will he should be able to tie this thing up? Oh, and he finds McBot for a big gain of 33 yards and then called timeout. They're pushing. They're pushing the ball down the field here. Tries to connect for five yards to the bot, but the pass is broken up on the hit. 39 seconds remain in this half. Condom man gets it to his receiver. Comes up short of the first down, but they get the timeout. They have one remaining.
and they don't get the first down. As the pass is deflected by Luke Bukmont. With the arm, they will go for it here on 4th and 1 with 22 seconds remaining. And they find McBot for a gain of 18 on 4th and 1 and they use their last time out with 11 seconds remaining. Will they be able to get points on the board? And they throw another screen play to the outside to Tech and that picks up 4 yards and they have three seconds remaining. Are they going to be able to get the field goal unit out there? Two seconds. And they do. It looks like they will get that off to go up. 17. Or the tie the same 14 to 10. Your impact players are Noah Gamble, who's 4 for 6 for 11, or for 100 yards and one touchdown. And McBot. As we head into the third quarter, we have a good one on our hands with the Monarchs on the road leading the Stags 14 to 10. Houston comes out with the ball first with a big return for 27 yards. They start from the 32 yard line. Condom names back in shotgun, throws back to pass. And he finds Tech for a four yard completion. There's 121 passing yards so far for the, the Stags today. Will they add to it here? And no, he throws that out of bounds. Tosses it out the middle to Tank for a gain of five yards to come up for a fourth down, though. And they will punt on fourth and one. Let's see if he'll be able to pin them back deep. And. Oh, almost. Almost. But just barely a touchback on this one. Looks like the Monarchs will come out at 25 yard line. Noah Campbell drops back to pass, and he finds a McBot down the middle of the field for a gain of 15 yards. As that is now three receptions, 71 yards, and a touchdown for McBot. Noah Campbell is just slicing and dicing up on this defense. As he finds another McBot in the middle of the field for a huge gain of 44 yards. That is now four receptions, 115 yards for McFly. Incredible. Ever since that fumble in the first quarter, Noah Campbell has been excellent as he finds McFly in the back of the end zone for two receptions. Now 47 yards and a touchdown for him on the day. Great play as they look to extend this lead. The Monarchs now are leading 21 to 10. You know, coming in here to Houston is not easy, especially when you're playing in front of a sold out crowd, but so far it is not bothering the Monarchs at all. As he breaks off that one and spins off another, but he only picks up about 27 on the return as he can't take this one all the way. But that's alright. Sets up the offense in pretty good field position. Condom in, drops back and throws, but he's deflected by Jerome. Houston's offense could use a touchdown here. As they can't seem to stop the Monarchs. Brings up third down and seven from the 35 yard line. 0-3 on third down conversions today, so will they be able to produce here? And they can. McBot comes up big for a 12-yard reception. A 
to throw a screenplay out to Tech, who picks up a couple here to make it second and eight. It seemed to like the screenplay with Tech, but it hasn't seemed to get too many yards. Come on, man. Jarb's back. They pick up about two here. I'll make it four. Make that third down and four now. And he finds McBot his tight end for a game of 16 on third and four. That was a very big third down there that they needed. They started coming, they came into this drive on three on third downs. They've already now comp completed two. Incredible catch by the receiver there as he stretched out for about six on that one. Brings up second and four. They're putting quite a drive here, huh? They toss it to the outside. Tank runs over one. We can't run over the other. Picks up about six. And I get about one more playoff here before the third quarter's over. And they toss it out to Tank. On the outside, fumble! And they are able to recover. Condom Man picks up the recover. And they get a few on, on the return. Oh, recovery. Take that second and nine. And he finds a strange receiver in the back of the end zone for 19 yards. As they look to inch closer to tying things up. for 21-17 Monarchs as this one kicks into the back of the end zone it will bounce out the Monarchs will start this drive from the 25 yard line as they hand it off up the middle to Stone Prince who takes off for a huge gain and he's gone he oh my gosh that is incredible for a 75 yard touchdown run by keystone prince in his debut with the monarchs what a run by keystone prince you know the stags came out they got to stop they tried to they tried to, to push the points on the board themselves. They did. They, they started getting closer at tying things up and coming back. And then they hand the ball off to Keystone Prince and he makes a 75 yard touchdown run. The Monarchs are just dominating this game in every way possible since the opening, uh, or since the fumble in the second drive of the game. The Stags need a touchdown here and they, they need to try to try to get one quick as they get an 18 yard catch. Drops like the pass and he finds his receiver out wide. Will he be able to take it all the way in? No, he is tackled from behind up short, but that comes for a 39 yard uh, catch as they get inside their own uh, five yard line now for a first and goal as they need to find something quick. And he finds his receiver for four yards as he comes up short as he is now on the one yard line. Will they be able to punch this one in here? Interception! Interception! Interception by McBot! Condom Man chases him down though for the tackle. But wow! He could have he could have just scored and uh, got himself within within a field goal. And instead, they throw a pick. Mm. They come out with a sack here on first down, but wow, that might have just uh, uh, really, really sealed things for this game. As they ended up the middle of Alex Starr for a six yard run. They 
tusks to the outside to Alex Star as he makes a, a huge gain here as he goes all the way and celebrates early for a 53 yard run. Oh, and the kick is blocked by Desmond Bitbop. Not sure really how much that helps. Uh, Banks the Heroes just scores 34 to 17 with under two minutes left to go in the game, but the Stars will look to, f to make a comeback in any way possible. As they get about a 21 yard return on the, on the kickoff. The man throws it out wide to McBot for a gain of eight. With a minute 30 left, it's second and two. Common man throws it out wide to his receiver and then it's deflected. One man draws back the pass, and he finds his running back tank for a big gain of 40 yards in the Stags call timeout. That is now two receptions for 42 yards for him on the day. Have yourself a day, tank. Kind of in overthrows its receiver on that one. Drops back to pass, and as he's uh, trying to evade pressure, he throws it out wide and, and just overthrows his receiver on that one. It'll be third and ten, with 51 seconds remain. Ooh, he catches it, but as soon as he is hit, ball falls three, and it'll make it fourth down. With 42 seconds remaining, they find a way to score on fourth down for 26 seconds. Protect. As they look to kick this one to make things a 10 point game. And just barely gets it off uh, from, from getting blocked. And then it's now a 10 point game with 32 seconds to go. This one is pretty much over but the stags are still uh, looking to try to find any way possible to win this one hands it out the middle to stone prince for a game of nine not enough for the first down as the stags call timeout but it will bring up a second in inches as they need to stop here and they toss it out wide to Alex Starr, who gets the first down and more for a game of 21. As the Stags have now called their final timeout. I think that pretty much wraps this one up. With only six seconds remaining, and the Monarchs are up 34 to 24. The final play of the game is a hand a handoff up the middle to Alex Starr for 13 yards. As the Monarchs come in on the road into Houston and win this one 34 to 10. This is just a really good game from Noah Campbell after that fumble that he had in the second drive of the game. He just kind of put that behind him and turned into a, a Noah Campbell we've been expecting to see all season and haven't until now. And he just um, played really good. He got uh, a lot of help from his receivers and um, Alex Starr had himself a game as well as he was the player of the game. 
Um, with 10 uh, rushes, 54 yards, 2 touchdowns, and had one reception for 13 yards as well. Both running backs just played incredible, and that really um, took a lot of, a lot of pressure off of Noah Campbell as he was able to go 7 for 9 for 175 and 2 touchdowns. And that'll be all for your game two as the Monarchs come into Houston and win this one 34 to 24. This is just a really good uh, week four for the the government league here. Um, and the Vipers win game one and the Monarchs win game two. Uh, that'll be all though for for this week's uh, games. And uh, we'll see you guys next week for uh, week five.